What was up you guys, this is Donna. So I teamed up with Sim Vivo to give away one of their Sim Sutra kits. It comes with all of this amazing stuff that you see right here. So if you guys are interested in learning how to suture it and getting one of these kits, head on over to my Instagram at Adana the PA for the details on how you can enter to win. What's up you guys, this is Donna. This who? What's up you guys, this is you guys it's Adana welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new welcome if you know what this is um you can get your own suture kit from sim vivo by going to www.sim-vivo.com um, they have other trainers as well but this is not a sponsored video sim vivo is not paying me for this but they were generous enough to send me this trainer kit to give them my honest opinion and review of the product and that is what I'm gonna do because that's what I always do I keep it real with you all so I've already made this stitch here well it's not a stitch I'm sorry you guys I've already made this cut here with my 10 blade um, and that's this right here this particular scalpel I cut that but I will make another cut for you guys I'm gonna try out the 11 blade for you so I'm gonna do that right now this is what I'm gonna use for my simple interrupted Stitch. I've only done this one time before and that is the stitch is what I'm talking about so I have to go a little bit harder I guess oh there we go and I you guys this is very very um sharp so please be careful if you do get your own be very careful with this and I'm gonna go a little bit deeper there we go All right, so I've made my cut. So that is my stitch. I used the 15 blade for that one. All right, so there are these, I can't remember what they call them. They, I think it said they were the Hagar needle pickups. So that's what we're, we have here. I have my nylon, um, 30 millimeter nylon sutra needle right here. So I'm gonna open that for you all. See how it comes. So, Four steps in hand, your best friend, right? Pull them out. Um, there we go. So this is how it comes. You have your 30 millimeter nylon needle right here. So I will go ahead and clip it and pull it out. Put it over here. Now, they have this needle holder right here or a skin pickup. It has little claws on it. Um, it's not personally my favorite because I guess like I'm still a novice and I'm still learning so I have to like figure out the best way to hold the um, actual nylon thread with it. Maybe I go in through the middle, I don't know. But it makes it difficult for me. However, I'm going to try it. I'm gonna work with it. Um, like I said, I'm new at this. We learned you go in at 90 degree angle. You start off in the middle, so that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off right here at this little kind of dot right there. I'm gonna pull this back, give myself a little bit of room to work. All right, so this dot, you go in 90 degrees, pull it up, All right? So I'm in there, I'm getting into the subcutaneous fat tissue which is really like not that, but hey. All right, so I see my needle and it's going in the wrong, oh, there it is, right in there. So clearly this isn't supposed to happen. I'm not supposed to stick that right there. Like I said, you guys, novice learning, but I'm pulling it through. Um, I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of finish this off because it's just easier for me, but um, you do the two double, pull it through, make sure that it's flat is what I was taught. You have that kind of flat stitch. You throw it once again, pull it through, and throw it one last time and you pull it through. And then you'll take it, obviously, and you'll cut it, because that's the interrupted part of the simple interrupted. So I'll get my handy dandy scissors and I'll cut it right there. All right, and so that is my stitch. 
That's my first one. Let's do this again. Because I had a little trouble right here. Like this right here. That little hole shouldn't be there. So let's do this again. So when you do it in the middle, you then have to stitch it um, halfway through. And you guys, so this is really, I really like this trainer. First off, the trainer that I'm using um, in school, it's really like gelatinous and oily. And so it makes it a little bit difficult for us to actually um, do the stitches, but it's really good to learn because, you know, your skin is gonna have a little bit of give, obviously, with it, but sometimes it makes it a little bit hard. So again, we hold it, this is what we've learned. You don't really hold it like this to go in. You hold it like this. Go in at 90 degrees and going in the middle because you have to put that hole in there. All right, and then I can release it. And there it is, coming through. Needle holder. Pull it out. All right, that was a little better. Okay, and so then I'll drop my needle down where I know where it is, roll it twice. I think I can actually get, put a little bit more. There we go. Give a little bit more give with that, yeah. Roll it once, pull it through. And one more time, get that tip, pull it through, pull it tight to the other side, and then just clip it off. Where am I? There we go. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I don't know. And so again, you'll go in. We'll go in with the needle about halfway there. Again, split it down the middle. There's about, there we go. That's halfway. So this is a really good trainer to train on. Um, the skin itself is tough, but it still has a lot of give, like the actual tissue that is supposed to be the skin. Okay, so I think I pulled it a little bit too much there. Um, training with the nylon, because this is usually what you're gonna be using in surgery is actually good so you get kind of like the feel of this particular thread and then you just are learning how to do these throws okay so that one was a little light but there it is so I really like this this is good I'm gonna be spending a lot of time training on this because obviously the more that you train the better that you're gonna become with doing these different suturing techniques um, Again, so you would split it again, so I would go here. You can, if I still think that it needs more space, grab my needle with the needle holder. This is my needle pickup, pull it through. All right, run it twice. And um, YouTube videos are really good for this as well in terms of learning how to pull these sutures. But SimViewer has a really good product here. Making it easy for me. I'm gonna be a pro after this. After I'm done with this, pull this off. I'm gonna cut it really. Okay, so it kind of went into the, the skin there, but it's there. But these are my simple interrupted. Um, I'm not really sure what these other stitches would be, like some of the ones that I'll learn, I guess, maybe like a mattress or um, stitch. But these are some of the other stitches that they have that you can continue to train on. Like I said, I really only know the simple interrupted stitch right now, so that's the one that I'm working with. But I think I'm getting the hang of this, and I think that this particular trainer is making it very easy to do that. Pull it through. Obviously, as I continue to practice and I continue to have more lessons like in school, as I said, I only did this one time before, I'll get better at this, and I'll learn how to better do these different stitches and not waste any thread, but I think I'm doing a fairly decent job. 
Um, if you guys want to learn how to do this, definitely get their trainer. Um, they do have a book that it comes with, that this particular trainer comes with, and it kind of gives you instructions on how to do some of these stitches. And like I said, you can go onto YouTube and figure that out as well. But the Sim Vivo Training Study Guide, um, helps you learn how to do some of these stitches. But I think my stitches look good. Like, I feel like I did a really good job. Like, look at this. This looks pretty good. You know, there, I don't know, maybe I pull this one a little too tight. No, I think it's good. It's like, well put together. So yeah, look at that. I had the little mishap here. <laughs> But we're good. <laughs> we're good. That's what. The, well, that's why this is training, right? Um, so yeah, head on over to Sim Vivo. That's www.sim-vivo.com. Um, if you want to get this particular trainer, and there, like I said, there are other trainers as well. Dissection trainers for INDs and actually like excising different things. You have various different nylon um, size threads. Um, so learning how to suture with those are very important as well. I really like the feel of this. The fact that it's not oily and gelatinous, um, so it's not messy, is great because then I can just continue to, I can literally, you guys, so I have my stitches in and then I can just go in right now kind of ruin all my good hard work, but easily snip them and start all over again and continue to train, right? And that's, it's that simple. Pull those out. And honestly, that's how they're gonna take your sutures out anyways. <laughs> when they're, after you had some stitches put in, they're gonna take your sutures like that. So I'm excited about this. I'm super excited. Thank you so much, Simvivo, for being so generous and allowing me to review this product. Um, very helpful and it's gonna come in very handy within these next couple weeks and throughout the next 14 months of my clinical year. Also, if you wanna see like more of these training videos, go ahead and hit up my comment section and let me know. And if there's like some, I don't know, you have YouTube channels Channels or YouTube videos that can actually show me how to do some other different types of stitches leave that in the comment section below as well because I really want to learn and train on my new Sim Vivo suture training kit all right you guys and if you guys want to see Ant try to do this and for those of you who don't know who Ant is that's my husband nothing he has no medical training at all nothing None. related <laughs> um, <laughs> but if you want to see him try to suture um, leave that comment in the comment section below and we'll see if we can make that video happen yeah yeah. I'm so excited. Let's I'm really it. excited for that. So leave a bunch of comments, you guys, because I really want to do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Adana the PA at Instagram. Um, thank you guys again. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Happy suturing. <laughs>